Hello there everybody, this is Alex from Hardcore and Guides being my guide for Luigi's Mansion on Hidden Mansion difficulty going for the A rank run. Today is the fourth of five episodes and this will be a Area 4 Blackout episode only. Essentially just doing the Blackout by itself. So this one will be really, really short, probably the shortest one out of all of them and before we even get to the top of the roof here, or no, the balcony, I think it is, I'm going to go outside, and before the blackout happens, I'm going to water this plant one last time, and this will finally reveal the biggest money thing you can get in the entire game, I believe. And there's only two of these right here. Uh, it looks gold to me. I don't know what exactly this is. I'm sure someone will probably tell me that I'm a complete moron, don't know anything about, you know, cuts and diamonds and gems and stuff like that, but uh, I assure you I don't. So, it looks like a diamond shape, but then again, anything can look like diamond, correct? Well, that's the thing, like, it's got a gold look to it as well, but gold isn't really that big in the Mushroom Kingdom, it seems. So, yeah. You're probably wondering, why the heck did I switch over to sidestep? You probably didn't catch it, but I did. I switched over to sidestep. And the reason being is when we get to the balcony, when the f blackout finally hits, a ton and a ton of ghosts are going to spawn. But I'm going to try my best to make sure that they don't actually spawn. So, real quick about the blackout. There are three speedy spirits that spawn only during the blackout which these cannot be retrieved until after the blackout has started. So, also, if you have not found any locations of any other speed spirits, this is a good time to get it. Granted, it's a terrible time to get it, but it's definitely something you can do. You can actually get speed spirits that you have not found yet in other rooms that spawn during any time of the day. So if you're missing those and you haven't actually found them yet, by finding them I mean like, you know, having them run away, then you can go get them. If they ran away, it's kind of too late, so they're going to be gone for good. Now for mice, mice will continue to spawn if you haven't collected them yet. Same thing goes for the hallways, same thing goes for the rooms that they spawn in 20% of the time. Again, like hallways and tea room and... Oh lord, I don't know how many other rooms, but <laughs> there's a few, I think. But if you haven't gotten them yet, now's a good time to go get them. But again, there's only three speedy spirits that spawn only during the blackout. So, Or they only spawn during the blackout. That's putting it, that's wording it just incorrectly. I keep doing that. I, what am I trying to say? Okay, there's three new ones that spawn only after the blackout basically starts. So, yeah. The other ones will spawn if you haven't found them. I know I keep like repeating myself, but hey, you gotta make sure you know that people understand what I'm getting at. Cause even I, am having a hard time trying to explain it. Cause I'm a I'm a dunce. That's the thing. So having water is good because that way you can just go ahead and water these plants. You don't have to do it now if you don't have it. But you know, cause we're gonna come back up here multiple times. So if you don't have it now, well, that's okay. You can come back and we water it later. So. Once you put the key in the door, immediately right after, that is when, well, not, well, okay, not when you put the key in the door, but, you know, when you're about to put the key in the door. When the door does that whole glowing thingy where it just, you know, disappears with vines and all that, immediately, uh, the blackout will happen. And this is where sidestep comes in handy. This will essentially save you time and trouble from having to get caught by ghosts. As you saw there, there was one that did spawn, but, hey, you know, that's okay. So... I am actually heading toward the Speedy Spirit rooms, and I'm going to go ahead and give you the locations of each of the Speedy Spirits, at, hopefully before I get there. And uh, yeah, hopefully I actually remember all of them. I do know one for sure, which is Chauncey's room, and inside Chauncey's room on Chauncey's crib, so basically the baby room to some of you, in the baby room on the crib, there's a Speedy Spirit, in the hidden room, basically go back to the butler room, go through that mouse hole. And then on a chest on the far right, I'll show you too. There's one that spawns there. And there's one in Melody's room. Or the piano room. For some that want to call it that. 
Now, what I'm doing right now is kind of ridiculous and probably shouldn't be done during the blackout, but I'm doing it anyway. I am going out to the toad room. Actually, also, I'm knocking two birds with one stone. That's what I'm doing. So you kind of, yeah, you have to do this, actually. Never mind. You have to do this. I forgot. Uh, Uncle Grimly, or Grimly, whatever his name is, actually spawns. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, he spawns in this room right here. There's no other ghost but him, so I'll make believe for that. And there's a mirror in here, so that way we can just, you know, dart right out of here if we need to. So, he's, even on a normal playthrough, I think he's, like, the easiest ghost to catch. Besides Clairvoy, like, if you can't catch this guy in one go, there might be a problem. I mean, granted, maybe not, but, you know. I don't know about normal playthrough. I haven't done that in a while, so maybe it might be harder there, because normal just freaking weird now. <laughs> The poltergeist is too slow and takes too long to catch, so maybe that might be a reason why it might take him longer. Did I not go to get Toad? Or did I do that before? I, I, I'm going to be honest with you folks, I don't remember what I did. I I guess I didn't get Toad, unless I did before and got the water. I might, be on a, I might be on a completely different playthrough here that I'm thinking of. Well, okay, so I lied. Um, I'm actually going to get Uncle Grimly. Grimly? 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 Let's call him that. And coming into the baby room, I'm going to go get the first speed spirit, or blue ghost. That gives you a lot of money. So, I want to let you guys know, uh, whenever you go into a room that has literally any ghosts that spawn in it, you can actually essentially kill them all off, or suck them all up, pretty much. I don't know if they spawn anymore, like, if you're, if you're in the room for too long. I don't know if that happens. I haven't been in a room long enough to find out. Uh, I assume so, but... I could be wrong. And I think that if you actually come back into this room, they will respawn more of just regular basic ghosts. So, at least the game, I think, does that. Anyway. Yeah, if you come over here, uh, bam, get a heart. There you go. So that is the first of three speed spirits that spawn during the blackout only. Alright, now it's time to head into the other sections of this mansion to find the other two that we need to go catch. Which... There is one that the one in the hidden mansion room is probably the hard or hidden hidden room, whatever it's called, is probably the uh, hardest one I think out of the three. Because as soon as you go in there, you're going to be bombarded by ghosts. And what I'm doing right now is I'm grabbing fire because I know I'm going to be bombarded. So I'm just going to use fire to my advantage. That's right. Gotta think uh, think outside the box sometimes, folks. So I'm playing it smart. I'm just going to play it cool. You know, try to get these guys out of the way. Granted, there are there is fire in this room if you needed it. You don't have to fight the ghosts, but I recommend that you do because they're going to get in the way of you getting to the mouse hole unless you are fast enough at doing this, which I am not. So, I need to kill them off. As soon as you spawn in here, it just instantly they just bombard you, and it's just ridiculous. So, that's why I think fire definitely comes in handy in this room especially because... Uh, these bats start flying down toward you, and these guys just start stomping the ground on you. And you got grapple ghosts on you, and then eventually I think more of them spawn. And it's just a whole hell of a carousel right here, right? You know, it's just a whole freaking amusement park right with these guys. I swear to you, it's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So, okay, maybe more don't spawn. Alright, so that takes care of all of them. Grab the speed spirit. This is the chest I was talking about. It's on the far end of it. Uh, grab that. He gives you a nice green emerald, it looks like. And from there, we're going to go ahead into the last room, which will be Melody's room with the piano. So upon in her room, if you click on the piano chair, then the blue spirit will spawn. I don't know why I was trying to say. I mean, that was all I was trying to say, but for some reason, my words were not coming out. So if you've got the uncle, you can, inst you can go down to the basement right now and get that all unlocked. But if you do that now, before you catch the three speed spirits that only spawn here... Well, then he lost that on him, so good job. Now, for those that are wondering why I'm repeating myself like a broken record, that is because in case somebody was to skip forward in time in this video, they might miss out on some valuable information. I don't know. I mean, people do that, so there's that. But yes, doing this trick kind of helps during the blackout, but I don't know if it entirely helps at all. I mean, looks like it does, but kind of like a little slight hiccup there at the end. As you saw, I still got scared regardless. So, yeah. The reason why sidestep kind of helps out is that way you can have your flashlight in a specific position at all times without you having to actually keep changing it every single time that, you know, it changes itself, so. 
Or if you move around too much, you know, the sea stick will move with it. And yeah, it's just, it can be a pain, but hey, it's Luigi's Mansion, so yeah, can't fault it for that. All right, at least they give you the option, so that's, that's always a good thing. Okay, anyway, that's the last of the three that we need to catch. Not too difficult, right? The only difficult one, again, is probably the hidden room one, which, then again, if you got fire, uh, you can protect yourself relatively well with it, too. You know, it's a pretty decent way of killing off the ghosts, I think. Or at least getting rid of them, pretty much. Getting them out of your hair. So, after that, we're going to head down to the basement and then turn on the fuse box. And upon doing so, we will be finally transitioning into the legitimate part of Area 4. And I think Area 4 might be the longest area, I'm not sure. I mean, you have to fight King Boo and just go back and forth between upstairs and downstairs. And it's going to probably be a lot of editing from me. I'll, I'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave now. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. So, as always, take care, everybody.